Hi everyone. In this video module, we will see how to create months field from date. What do I mean? If I want to know what is the total sales in January alone for all the four years, what is the total sales in February alone in the four years? Like that, if I want month-wise sales or month-wise profit, then how to do it? We need to create a month-based field. Okay. First of all, let's go to the dimensions. Here in subcategory place, we will remove it and we will have it as order date. Why? Because we want our data or profit to be displayed according to each month. Okay. Here we could see that in each date, what is the total profit is being displayed. But we don't want this level of data. We want in each month, what is the total profit? How can we do it? There are two ways. First way, let's go to add a field. In the field name, we'll give a uh, month wise. Okay, and formula, we'll have the formula month. And what should be the input? For this, we need an input to be order date. Okay, so which means that all the rows, all the sales which are being done, we need to look into each of those several thousand sales choose the date of those sales and in that date what was the month mentioned that we need to consider in order to create this particular new field for so this is what the formula means so we get a tick mark here and we are good to go okay so now the calculated field is saved i'll give them and see instead of dimension as order date now we will change the dimension to month order month na? yeah we'll give order month see now we could see in each month what is the total profit so august 2018 uh, i mean 2017 to 2021 what is the total profit september 2017 to 2021 what is the total profit so like that we can see so this simply tells us that the sales is highest during the i mean the profit is highest during the month of august followed by month of september sales is lowest during the month of March. So this kind of analysis can be done when such a kind of field is created. Okay. So this might seem a little bit complex. That is a very easier way to do that. Okay. We will delete this month base dimension again and we will again add the order date. Now when we have this order date, we will get the same set of uh, data again. Now what should we do? We need to just hover over this calendar icon. So we'll get edit option and uh, we will have the type as date and time here. You can choose anything year, year quarter, year month. If you select year, then in each year, what is the total profit that data we will get. Okay. Coming to the months in each month, we'll just select the month in each month. What is the total sales? Uh, what is the total profit made? We will get the data. Very simple as that. Okay, like that. You can see uh, in each year quarter what is the profit. In each year month, what is the profit? What is year month? If you click year month, it will show or Jan 2017, Feb 2017, like that. Every year, every month, what is the sales? Earlier, if you simply click month, it will show simply August, January, February which has a compilation of all the four years which is present in the data. Whereas if you click a click year month, it will show the month name plus the year, what which year it is. Okay. So like that, different options are available. Okay. So this can prove to be a powerful tool because see, uh, if I'm going to click the day of the week, okay, then I could see the data Saturday, Thursday, highest profit is uh, there on Saturday. Lowest profit is there on Monday. So I should consider what are the factors which makes sales very low on Monday. Why the factor, why the sales is high on Saturday? What factors which makes this uh, day a highly profitable one? And how can we make use of these factors and increase the sales in the remaining days as well? So all these kinds of analysis we can do just with the click of button, simply go to the calendar icon. What is the type of uh, date and time? Whether you want year, year quarter, year month, ISO, uh, 
week, day, hour, day, hour, minute. So these and all can be used when we have the uh, data available in our original data source. Okay. So this is how we can create new month field or any uh, any kind of field for analysis of data according to order date. Whether maybe uh, it can be the time or the minute or the days, hours, day of the week, etc. Okay. So, so this is one of my favorite tools. Hope uh, you understood how it works. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you.